Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to 6 News. Today we have the blog post for the new map Fortress. So of course yesterday we got the trailer, but in low resolution because it was released accidentally. Whereas we now have the proper trailer in high resolution. So let's start with this big picture to begin with. So of course we can see our two towers out here, an external wall. We can see behind them is two other towers and they're kind of part of the map. It sounds like from this blog post you can get into them, which is cool. You can see the front door down here and you can see what's inside the front door. This is visible in the trailer so we now know what the front door actually is and what it looks like. And it's a nice looking map. So our level designers are excited to finally present a fortress map for a game with Siege in the name. So they say this is a large daytime map. Of course the original maps and a lot of the DLC maps had nights and day versions. But the last bunch of DLC maps have only had daytime versions. So it looks like they're continuing that. So of course the imposing main entrance greets all visitors with the two towers. And of course that's what we see. Of course we've got the big towers behind that as well. So based on real and existing structures, the main exterior stairs provide unprecedented access to the roof and drop down points via the towers. So I believe these are all repel points. Which is going to be interesting. I don't like that because it's usually very vulnerable. But it sounds like you repel in through the tower down into open spaces, which we've seen in the trailer. Um, that is going to be interesting. It's going to be new, which is always good. I love getting new ways of doing things. So housed within the fortified and bare walls, um, there are only two floors. So we know that there is no basement area. There's just the two floors. So obviously this floor here and then one above it. So nothing underneath and it consists of living space and training space with each having like distinct rooms and hallways and they say there's multiple stairs and also a ladder to allow for rotation between floors so at least two staircases um, I'm going to guess though probably three and then a ladder as a fourth access point for getting up and down that's my thinking anyway and the map offers a variety of open space, points of cover, and lines of sight for both close and long range engagements. That is going to be interesting. So a selection of the fortress is newly renovated. And this has like the residence for the commander's office. The commander is the new male operator that's coming with the Morocco season. So this map is actually kind of based around him. Players will find widespread use of decorative ornaments Luxury furniture, painted ceilings, and a massive chandelier. And that sounds like it's in one half of the map, which is kind of the living area. And it sounds like it's pretty posh. And the other side kind of isn't quite up to that kind of standards. But uh, it does sound cool. Now, now, this is where I'm very interested in this down here, where it says the art team aimed to make two sections distinguishable from each other. Now there's one view in the trailer that looks like it's looking kind of like straight down the map and there's obviously buildings on either side. There doesn't appear to be a connecting area and I feel it, it looked like it was two separate buildings and now when I read this when it says they made two sections I do wonder if this map is split in two. I would kind of like that. Of course we've only got a canal that's set like that and they have a hard time balancing it so I do wonder if it really is the case. Um, I would love a map where the defender literally has to run out of one building to get into another. I think that would actually be kind of cool. So I don't know if that's the case. And then they finish off by saying this is the first map that heavily associated with an operator. As such, the dev team created a fortress fit for a commander atop a hill with a 360 degree view. Now, this view, obviously the eye has binoculars. He's got a 360 degree view. I'm still kind of going with the idea that you might have some sort of tactical strike, like artillery or a missile or something. There's a lot of connections to all that, but I could be totally wrong. We'll just have to wait and see. Of course, the reveal will be on the 18th, so we're just going to have to wait and see about that. 